Stage two of the Tour de Perth, it's a 116 kilometre stage around Kalamunda. It's a circuit race, there's plenty of hills to contend with. Will Clark starts with a yellow jersey on his shoulders. Sam Horgan from Budget Forklifts is one of the men to watch. And the Western Australian, Anthony Giacopo, will be trying to move up from his third place finish on stage one. Once the race got underway and it was an aggressive start and fairly early on in the piece, a breakaway group of five formed at the front. The key riders in the breakaway were Christian Jewell from the Budget Portlifts team and Rhys Skillet from African Wildlife Safari. They were racing for the King of the Mountains points, plus trying to establish their lead. We also saw Jai Hindley, young Western Australian, just 17 years of age, he will be a name to remember. As they came into the last 10 kilometres, the big favourites came to the fore and Tim Rowe, along with Travis Meyer, two of the pre-race favourites, they got to the front and Tim Rowe proved to be too strong. It was a win that has marked his return towards the top end of cycling. You're back. What was the emotion like when you went across the finish line? Yeah, it was uh, an awesome feeling today to, to cross that, to come into the last 200 metres knowing I was going to finish by myself. Um, yeah, I've been training, I've trained hard for this, so um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. You've got the yellow jersey, so the defence now commences. Can you hold on to the end? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, yeah, our team is amazingly strong, so um, and yeah, I think tomorrow in the time trial we'll be able to try to do a good ride there. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll give it everything we have and see what happens. Tim Rowe spent two seasons racing with Cadell Evans at BMC. He's now back with budget forklifts. He has the yellow jersey. Stage three, the individual time trial around Rottnest Island and Travis Meyer will be on the hunt to try and get yellow away from Rowe.